Hi, my name is Gary Schiffman. I'm the founder and CEO of Giant Oak and the founder and CEO of Consilient, two risk, uh, risk detection technology companies. And I'm here to talk to you about the future of artificial intelligence and grateful for being invited into this, uh, this great event. The theme of my talk is collaboration. And really what I want to emphasize is that the promise in the future of artificial intelligence, which is, which is here, today and now is a future of collaboration in a privacy preserving manner. So what do I mean? Let me give you an example. So there's an executive of a large corporation, which is an illicit corporation. They engage in the creation uh, manufacture of methamphetamines and the global distribution of methamphetamines. And this executive of this organization travels freely around the world, has bank accounts, and no government system is able to identify his illicit activity. No bank is able to identify his illicit activity. And he's basically getting away with it. Um, until one day, a government agency decides to use AI-based screening technology that is popular in the banking world for adverse media screening to run, run traveling populations through. And, and this person gets identified and, and gets uh, apprehended as a result of this. Now, what made the difference is not the AI and not a superstar analyst, although both of those are true. What made the difference was collaboration. The idea here is that by collaborating across law enforcement agencies, across federal government spaces, across financial institutions, we were able, the community was able to identify a really bad actor that otherwise had not been identified previously. So artificial intelligence is great, humans are great, but it's the ability to collaborate that makes all of the difference. Um, my background, is in national security, homeland security. I have spent my life thinking about patterns of human behavior and how humans tend to behave and applying that to illicit behaviors. So money laundering, drug trafficking, terrorism, terrorist financing, um, corruption, coercion, fraud. These are the things that I've spent my life working on as an economist, technologist, and business uh, and government executive. What I have concluded, and it's not going to surprise anybody here, is that collaboration makes us better. When we work together, we get more done than when we work just on our own. However, there are so many obstacles to collaboration, especially in the national security space, which is, again, where I spent my career. Um, we've got privacy concerns, we've got sovereignty concerns, we've got sensitivity of data concerns. And we know that the privacy standard is only increasing today. So the ability to collaborate is great. It, or the, the importance of collaboration is great. And we all know that the ability to collaborate, however, is, is impinged upon by the difficulties of sharing data. This is where machine learning and artificial intelligence help us out because machine learning and artificial intelligence enable us to up our game, to do a better job of promoting safety and security while also enhancing and preserving privacy. And that's by keeping data at rest and moving or sharing algorithms. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about. So I've invented uh, Two, I've co-invented two technologies, one's called Ghost and one's called Dozer. And I'm gonna show those to you here very quickly. The first um, image here is of the, the Consilient is the name of the company and Dozer is the technology. So on the left, you've got the current model. This is the world we live in. So you've got a bad actor goes to a bank. In that bank, that bad actor gets away with um, money laundering or fraud, some sort of activity. They get away with it for a little while. Bank one catches them, they just go to bank two. Bank two catches them, they just go to bank three. This is a system that is beautifully designed to enable illicit activity. It's not designed well for folks like us who want to stop illicit activity and preserve the integrity of the global financial system. On the right is the alternative being created by Consilient. Consilient is a company 
which is founded on the idea of federated learning, which is we're going to collaborate by sharing models, not data. By sharing, by collaborating, bank one, after they find the bad actor, they can share the model that they used with bank two and three. Now a bad actor tries to go to banks two or three or others. And if they're in the collective, if they're sharing the model, then the bad actor never gets into bank two or three. So this is a world of collaboration, increasing security, increasing public safety, uh, preserving privacy. The, the, I wanna show you a little bit about Dozer and how it works. So Dozer is in the center and Dozer is a platform that enables the training and sharing of machine learning models. The first version of the model in this example would go from the algo factory to bank one. Bank one would augment the model with training data available only in bank one. The model would be improved. None of the data from bank one would be shared with anybody. It would stay at rest wherever bank, bank one wants that data. The model comes back to Dozer, the algo factory, and then goes out to bank two, gets trained on the data at bank two. Now what we've got is bank two just used a model that's better than any model they could have built on their own because it was trained with more data and data that they otherwise wouldn't have access to. And now the algo factory has access to a model that's been bank trained on two data from two banks and can share that with bank three or four. So over time, the models in the algo factory get better and better, more refined, more, more effective and more efficient. And this is enabled by collaboration. And again, no personally identifiable information ever leaves any of these banks. So we're preserving and enhancing privacy and we're, we're enhancing public safety and security. That's federated learning. Here's the output. So you can, this is a, this is what the uh, UI user interface looks like in Dozer. You would have, uh, you would select your model on the left, some sort of a, a, a money law variant on money laundering or financial crime or fraud. On the left, you would select your model. Your model performance would be measured in terms of false positives, false negatives, true positives, true negatives. That's your model performance box. That's basically a confusion matrix. On the right is your score distribution of, of known good, known bad, and you have a threshold where you could move that around to determine how many cases you want to review, how many cases you want to consider have a, that have alerted. And on the bottom, you've got your standard interpretation of uh, model feature performance. So that way it's human interpretable and um, you're providing transparency into the machine learning process for the humans so they know what took place. That's Dozer. Second thing I want to talk about is Ghost. Ghost is a transfer learning technology which sits up in the cloud. The idea behind Ghost is recorded human history is taking place today in internet space. And if you want to screen a large population, you want to, we want to get beyond the very narrow uh, and human intensive curated list name matching process and we want to go out into the to the big wild of the internet and look at publicly available information because that's where life happens today and in, in the internet space and publicly available space we don't do it because it's big it's messy um, and it's changing it's dynamic and it moves all of the time ghost was built for that so it's a large-scale screening and continuous vetting tool for discovering unknown risks Here's an example. Um, in, a, in a large financial institution, Ghost went head to head against the leading global uh, provider of adverse media and, and watch listing services. And Ghost was able to identify about 500% more true positives at a lower false positive rate. That is both effectiveness and efficiency were increased with Ghost significantly. It's for two reasons. Ghost looks across more data than anybody else does, um, and it has a machine learning algorithm process with artificial intelligence built in that is shared across users. So the algorithm is constantly getting better. It's cloud-based. The, the algorithm is copied and, and deployed independently for every single user. So no data ever gets commingled. And yet the algorithm learns over time with more users and more users. In summary, 
artificial intelligence is here. It's exciting. It's changing the world. Um, and I want everybody just to think that it enables collaboration. And that's a very, very powerful capability that, that we're going to start appreciating in 2021. Thank you.